house for house. So late last night, I got an email from my friend John in San Francisco. He wanted to let me know that George had answered the phone while I was out earlier in the day and they'd had an interesting little chat that went something like this. Um, George says, John, why don't you have a girlfriend? And John says, well, I like boys. And George, then without skipping a beat, says, but if you get a girlfriend, she will do all of the cooking and cleaning so you can read the newspaper and watch TV. Uh, come on. Haven't I been busting big ass to model the image of a woman who is strong, independent, sassy, and domestically disinclined for my children to behold? Aren't I rad enough? I have a tattoo. Our tenant is a Wiccan. But clearly, the damage had been done. So I decided, first thing this morning, I was gonna talk some sense into my budding little sexist. Now, I knew I should choose a time when we were both relaxed and comfortable, like read somewhere that that's what you're supposed to do when you're broaching difficult subjects with children. But of course, I swooped into the playroom, hunting George down like a starving hawk chasing an injured field mouse. George, we need to talk. It's hard to be angry at a kid who's missing so many teeth. George, take the sunglasses off. He slides the shades down, but then proceeds to start pelting Dora's dollhouse with little pieces of Lego, screaming, I am Gandalf, blasting the orcs and goblins to bits. And then, as though he is the family dog and not my precious firstborn child, I bark, George, sit. We sit together on the couch and I calmly begin. George, uh, John, emailed me about your phone call and, um, well, I'm concerned because it appears that you believe women are supposed to do all of the cooking and cleaning. You are sadly mistaken. And also, it was rude of you to assume that John should have a girlfriend because some boys like girls and some boys like girls and boys and some girls like boys and some girls like girls and boys and some girls only like girls and some boys only like boys and well some people aren't a boy or a girl and they like whomever they want and some people and I go on and on giving all of these great examples but then George interrupts and says really well then can I be John's boyfriend I guess he took my nonverbal response as some sort of answer because he bounded back to the playroom to launch his next Lego attack, but I remained immobilized on the couch. My little sage of a son was really onto something. <laughs> I mean, clearly John in San Francisco doesn't need a girlfriend, but maybe I do. <laughs>